What is up everybody and welcome to FLW Videos. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Pokemon known as Reshiram that's being added into Pokemon Go on May 26th and it will of course be through the raid system. This Pokemon is absolutely amazing and a lot of people are curious about how good this Pokemon is going to be from the raid side. From the PvP side, should you go ahead and power it up? Should you unlock a secondary charge move? And then of course, we'll be answering so many more questions. If you do enjoy this series, if you enjoy this video, it is helpful. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So Reshiram has a max AP of 4038, it's also a dual type Pokemon of Dragon as well as the Fire. So we will of course be taking a look at this Pokemon from the Dragon typing as well as the Fire typing, but initially speaking you may be surprised to see how dominant this Pokemon is going to be at just one of those typings as opposed to being dominant at both of them. So anyways, if we go ahead and take a look at the stats for Reshiram, we'll see an overall ranking of 12th in Pokemon Go that is absolutely fantastic for this Pokemon and as far as how it is able to actually do it it's definitely going to be that attack stat at 275 helping out and then secondly that defense stat is also very highly ranked as well at 18th and then 56. Its worst stat however is just its stamina stat but even then that is still very solidly ranked so this Pokemon has just generally very good stats, but we all know how Niantic loves to nerf Pokemon in a completely different way, and that is through the moveset. So if we go ahead and take a look at the moveset, we will see quite a few stab moves that are worth taking a look at. Uh, so beyond that though, Draco Meteor, it's, it's worth mentioning, it's not the best from the raid side, and then secondly, Dragon Breath unfortunately isn't as well, so it could get hit a little bit from the Dragon type, and we will of course take a look. And then finally, taking a look at Crunch, how good is Crunch going to be for this Pokemon? Potentially from the raid side, there, there could be some benefits there. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the raid results. We'll take a look at it from the Dragon typing, as well as the Fire typing. So from the Dragon typing, it's going to be a little bit more disappointing. Unfortunately, it was actually very difficult to find Reshiram in like the top 15 going up against really any of those Dragon type Pokemon. But when we go up against Latios, we finally find it in at the number 9 position. But like we said before, a couple things are kind of going on. It has Dragon Breath, it has Draco Meteor. That's just kind of like a little bit of an issue from the raid side already. And then secondly, it does have a little bit of a different typing. So some of the moves could end up hitting this Pokemon a little bit differently than most of its other counterparts that are like the Dragon Flying type. But the good news, however, is on the fire side. I'm actually going to pull up two simulations for you to go ahead and take a look at. The first one's going to be versus a Registeel. So versus a Registeel, you are seeing that Reshiram manages to take over the number one spot, which is amazing, surpassing the Pokemon Lucario. So anyways, when we move on to the second Pokemon that we talked about versus a Kabalion, you're seeing that Reshiram is once again taking over that number one spot. So Reshiram is consistently finding itself at the top of the list as just a general fire type attacker. So it is definitely something that you need to use from the raid side, from the fire typing, if you want to get the absolute best benefit out of this Pokemon. So in any ways, the good news does not stop there. If you go ahead and check out the results from the PvP, we'll of course go ahead and discuss this first. So it has a ranking of 11th in the Master League. And then secondly, the moveset's going to be Dragon Breath, Crunch, and then finally Overheat. So it's going to have a bit of diversity on the moveset, but the fact that it's ranked 11th means that it could be a very interesting Pokemon to go ahead and power up. Anyways, as far as the key matchups are concerned, we're seeing Pokemon like Giratina, Togekiss, Metagross. Those Pokemon are very meta-relevant, so you could kind of use this Pokemon to be able to take those Pokemon down. Another Pokemon like Groudon would not stand a chance against something like this, but hey, they're going to be doing different things, so just kind of keep this in mind. Reshiram could be showing up in raids just because the Master League will come several weeks later. People may be able to build up enough candy, so you might see Reshiram once Master League comes around. And as far as its top counters are concerned, uh, Shadow Metagross doesn't really happen that often. Not a lot of people have it, so I wouldn't consider that as big of a deal. Excavalier, not that common. A Shadow Tyranitar, not that common. Really, you're just kind of worried about a potential Groudon. That's probably going to be the most common. Excadrill is a spicy pick, but it is really just not that common of an option. But regardless of that, we are seeing some solid results for Reshiram from the raid side. 
from the PvP side, it's not very often that you get a Pokemon that can do well at both, but ladies and gentlemen, we are finally receiving one, which I know we are all excited about. Definitely using it from the fire typing on the raid side, and then from PvP, just go in with the moveset that we talked about. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and give this Pokemon a seal of approval. I think it is worth powering up. I think it is also worth unlocking a secondary charge move if you are focusing on PvP. The fact that this Pokemon does well in the Master League, does well on the raid side means you can pretty much just go ahead and power it up, not have any repercussions to it. You can simply TM if you do plan on using it for PvP and then come right back to it when you want to use it from the raid side. Anyways, I would love to know what you think about Reshiram in the comment section below. Make sure to let me know what you plan to use it for, PvP or the raid side. Let me know and I. We'll see you next time. If you want to develop a deeper connection, I would highly recommend you to check out Patreon. We've got a lot of really cool things going on over there. Check out all of these supporters that we have. We are almost up to 100. We are also posting some special content, some behind the scenes work. And if that is the type of thing that interests you, I would highly recommend you to check it out.